Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Tektian and in this video we will be using Owl Carousel. So I'm going to show you how you can use Owl Carousel in your website uh, with Bootstrap. So first we need to go and have the Bootstrap. Uh, so this is the official website of bootstrap and here you need to copy some files so if you go to get started uh, you will see two files uh, CSS and JS it's not two files uh, here you have one file and here you have uh, three files so you simply need to copy this one and I'm going to open my visual studio code because I love visual studio code and this is one of the best editor that I have worked on so I'm going to create a new file named index dot html because this is so unique right i don't have it have anything else to name it so let's give it some line of html and before the head tag closes i'm going to give it, I'm, I'm going to copy paste the css file uh, that i got from the website so this one is done now the js files i'm gonna simply copy this and paste it before the body tag closes so here uh, we are done with bootstrapping so let's let's go here and make it look good so it looks good right now so now we need to have the owl carousel and this is the official website of owl carousel owlcarousel.github.io and if you go to this website you can see plenty of things so let's first go to the documentation because we need to see what we have to do to install owl carousel so we need to have these two files in uh, mean.css and mean.css so let's copy these two bad boys and let's let's have this here and let's give it a tab as well so you can see there's a folder called our carousel so we need to create that as well but before that let's grab the js files as well so we don't need the jquery one because we already have the jquery one we simply need to have this one so let's have this one and paste it over here uh, so this is good so now we need to create a folder as well so let's click here and name it our carousel and we will have two extra files as well one is style.css and the another one is main.js so let's create them first style.css and main.js so yeah this looks fine right <laughs> so in the index i have to include these two as well so let's see style.css and here main.js so so we are basically done with everything but we need to have the files as well because we don't have these two files and the last js file so simply we need to download the our carousel package and it will be downloaded in your website so no it won't be downloaded in your website damn it it will be downloaded in your um, folder download folder in your local host so I already have one so uh, let's delete this one and let's go here because I won't I already have downloaded the files so within the dist file within the assets file you need to copy this and this and you need to paste it in your uh, in your where is our workstation in your our carousel folder and we also need to have the JS files as well so let's go again here and this is the JS file that we need and if we go to the desktop our uh, workstation and paste it over here we can have the JS file so yeah we are done with everything so let's see some demos uh, how to do uh, a basic our carousel so let's go to the basic one so we need to have these things this html file the html file uh, lines of codes and we need to have it within the body so let's have a class named called style and within that i need to have a container because i love container we need to have a row uh, we need to have a call lg 12 so this is basically uh, some things to make it look good so it's not mandatory uh, so that I can later do some style in style CSS. So yeah, and some things we need to have in the JS file as well. So let's go to the main JS. Uh, so we are basically done with everything. If we go to our workstation and open the index.html, we should be able to see 
our owl carousel working so yeah it's working but it doesn't look good so i'm going to give it some style some random style and i'm going to add a class here as well text center uh, to make that make everything center and in the style i'm going to put a dot because that's what you do and some curly brace uh, here i can say margin top is 100 100 pixel and i can give it a border right <laughs> i can give it a border so border is 1 pixel solid ddd so yeah that looks good so if i just reload this it should be in the center and there's a border and this is working fine so that's for today to this video uh, i'll be seeing you guys in my next video till then take care